Welcome back to the Sonic Adventure playthrough. This is part four, and something Sonic seems to be staring at something. That random guy walking over there, because he simply can't be walking and staring at that computer, because he's not staring in the right direction. Oh well. So simply, as you saw in the last one, they, that was weird. A icicle appeared in this alleyway, which we need to pick up and go back to the train. Yeah, we're going back to Mr. Bruins, people. Because you know, Mr. Bruins is fun. <laughs> Lies! I'm stuck. So simply get into the train. And the mysterious wall has broken. I wonder what it is. We <laughs> jump. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, done jumping. Simply, we need to go to the hole that was just made. We go to this mysterious cave, which lets us run on a wall and hold the crystal in our formation. We put the crystal in here, and the rest of the door opens. Yeah, and everything's frozen. Guess you know what that means. I stage! Oh, I forgot to mention the last scene with the casino, which many people are in. And this one, it's pretty much a snow stage. Yeah, <laughs> didn't really need to mention that, but you know, I I just want to say something. You know, I, mean, I gotta do something to make this video less boring. You know. <laughs> we. I'm actually going here for a life. I will show you a quicker way that you can take. I'm just doing this for a life. Alright, so that's two rings. That's not a life. Well, there's a life over here. See? I don't lie. I never tell a lie. We. Whoa, Sonic. Anyway, this is a quicker route. Um, as you can tell, there are jump panels here. Yeah, simply the light speed dash because this, I don't know what Sonic just did. But that wasn't the light speed dash, I'll tell you that much. We can travel with the brains right here. And then we got a jump panel. Ding, ding, four, five, six, seven. I'm, I lost count after a while, I think it was eight. So anyway, we're now inside the mountain. Yeah, inside. Hit that because I want to. And it gives you rings. Three more rings and I get a life. Which I missed all those rings out there. But Tails got one. But who cares? We now get a life. We. 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 Okay. Enough we. We. Okay. So you have to run across this bridge before it falls apart. Don't worry, there will be some time before it goes off. But I wouldn't go incredibly slow or you will fall off. And more jumping. Yeah, apparently Takal won't shut up about that. Oh yeah, if you hold the X button here, there's actually a secret. There's, this is a snowboarding gig. Um, you'll get a orange snowboard. But if you hold the X button, you end up with the snowboard that's not the right snowboard. I think it's the B button, actually. Um, he'll end up with the snowboard he had in Sonic 3. You know, the huge snowboarding stunt. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So now the avalanche won't stop following you, which getting hit by the avalanche does nothing. It just makes you go faster. Because I've been hit by the avalanche before, it just makes you go flying across the stage. Yeah. You will lose time for it, don't even, so don't even try to do it. So. If you're a time player person, thing. Yeah, if you push the A button while you're on one of the orange ramps, at perfect timing, Sonic would do a trick. As I will now show again. Yeah. Okay, we're flying now. <laughs> Okay. 
Whoa, Matrix here. I've never been hit by those bombs, I'm not 100% sure if they hurt you, but just in case, I would advise dodging them. But we're about to re reach my favorite part of the stage, it's part where it has a whole bunch of jumping ramps. But, it, it just, it just looks awesome to me, like he does this, and then you go up here really slowly, and then he's like, just go boom, right there. And whee final jump. Holy cow, it's awesome. No! Hey, Oz Emerald! Yeah! Do, 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 K, Oz Emerald! Yeah! So we got out and under range as well. And our seventh emblem is here! And you know what we haven't done in a while? A boss fight. Yeah, and next we have two bosses, actually. Yeah, not fun at all. Not fun at all, eh? <laughs> and we meet a new pal! Yep, Knuckles the Echidna. <laughs> Many people might have known just from the first second of the cutscene. No time for games, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. What? Let's just see you take it. What are you looking at, Doofus? So now I have to fight Knuckles. Simply do a spin dash repeatedly. Oh no. We can just keep doing the spin dash. Give it your best shot. Except for now, just keep doing the spin dash around until he hits the ground and then hit him! But it's kinda do if you just keep spamming the spin dash like I'm doing. <laughs> or you can do the homie attack on him and knock him into the ground. Oh no! It's the chaos emerald! Hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the fat man. Ah, oh, he's the fat man. Uh oh, like taking candy from a baby. No. But the chaos emerald. No, duh. That's right, fool. You make it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. Hold it right there, Chris! You can't get away with this! Knuckles, don't tell the Eggman trick you again! Me? What about you? Way to go, Knucklehead! Knucklehead! Now, I have four lovely emeralds! Chaos! Huh. Oh my gosh, it's Mr. Rugly! He came back from the dead! He's up on you, my friend! Now he's biggie, beginning to be even uglier! With four emeralds in his hand, he cannot fly! Oh! He turned four again! Man, no one ever cuts us any slack! Yeah. They yeah, ask so emeralds to do that sometimes. <laughs> you eat a chaos emerald, you become all demented and huge. And you become part fish. Holy go! Yeah, that's the first attack you need to dodge. The little orange wave that you say. After a few hits, he will start shooting two at a time at you. And that's how you hit him. You wait from the surface, then you um, jump on his head. I would advise staying away from him, though. Because if you stay where he is, he will come to the surface and start punching you. Yeah, I know you're thinking, ooh, he comes to the surface, you should do that anyway. Well, you can't hit him when he surfaces to hit you. Only when he surfaces for whatever reason he has to surface. Probably because he wants to get hit by Oh! Probably because he wants to get hit by Sonic. I don't know. If you're wondering why I'm jumping away, kind of like that, I'm looking for rings that I might have missed. Which I think I got them all. Lily pad. 
think of the first. Hello. <laughs> Slow motion Kira. I'm saying it. Yeah, you never want to stay in the water too long because Sonic will start sinking. And after he reaches a certain feet of water, he will, it'll actually count as a hit. You won't drown, but it'll make you lose your rings. And if you have no rings, you of course die. And now he's turning bubbles. Just keep dodging the bubbles. It's not hard to dodge. You just simply have to like take a few steps over and that's it. Or you can jump really bad to live there like I did. Whee! Get away from me, Mr. Rubbly! Whoa! Make some skills right there. Oh, dang. Get away from me. That surface. And. Boom! Headshot. Dude, dude, there's a little pad cut my head off. That's kind of freaky. <laughs> I'm just a head. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that thing? It's ugly. It's super ugly. <clears throat> it's way too ugly. What could it be? Behold my floating masterpiece to the exterior! But we fail in the power of the Okay. Yeah. 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 Not another one. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, then that'd be me. Well, we can now play as Knuckles. And... Well, this is the end of this part, but... Before we go... I'm going to show you a quick secret. If you like collecting rare and exotic chow, there's actually a chow egg in this river. Now to get it, jump down here and push this lovely switch. After that, a weird thing will pop out of the waterfall, and out come will the silver ball. Well, it's not a silver ball, it's a chow egg. Anyway, to pick it up, wait for it to, get to, the, to float all the way to the surface, then you can pick it up, carry it to the nearest chow garden, and you can hatch yourself a fancy silver chow. Which I'm not going to get it because I already have a fancy silver chow. So you know what I'm going to do with it? Catch! Wow, you failed that catching the egg, all of you YouTubers watching this. Hmm. You did not catch the egg. So simply that's the end of this part. Next part, we'll be wondering why Knuckles is standing here like a weirdo when he said he had some unfinished business to take care of. No, we're not going to figure that out. Instead, we're going to chase Eggman down in the fancy tornado Eggman, er, not Eggman, Tails mentioned earlier. Why do I keep getting Tails and Eggman confused? I mean, they're nothing alike. I mean, I know they're both smart, but Tails is a two-tailed fox. Eggman's a fat man. He's Mr. Fat Man, not Mr. Eggman. No, Dr. Fatman. Oh well, see you next time.